We're talking about the royal wedding. Anne was telling me the royal wedding was watched by over a billion people in the world. Right. That's I'm insane. I'm just like, what the hell? That's insane. Why do you think many people watch the wedding? Because it's a true fairy tale. One... One, we read about it in books. We read about it growing up for women, I would say, mm-hmm. right? So it's that fairy tale, like, oh my god. Two, all a black normal people, girl is getting yeah. married to a prince. A yes. normal girl, divorced, uh, you know, yes. over the age of 30, 38. Well, she'd be 38 in August. Yes. You know, so all of that is like, whoa, if she can do it, a normal, normal, actually normal girl. Because Kate Middleton actually grew up middle class, yes, more and high they went end. to the same school. So yes, it's like, more same thing. Mm. So this, an actress, you know, coming out of the blue doing this, it was like, whoa. Third, black people and I know black. everywhere were like, yes, yes, <laughs> to all the racists in the house. Hello, we have arrived. So I know that's another like part that played in. And a lot of people just wanted to see what it was about. Is it genuine? Would they like, is it fake? Right. Is, you know, you want to just see. Um, in regards to that, a lot of people were like, okay, I feel like Megan is not so genuine. Like you yeah. can see from her face. I'm like, how do people tell this thing? Yeah. So, wow. And um, about black people there, mm-hmm. it was so insane to see the preacher was black. Yes, that's new. That's um, never happened. A lot of uh, attendees yeah. were black. Mm-hmm. Which was really dope. The choir. Oh my God. That was beautiful. If you have not seen the wedding or the recaps, you need to go watch it on YouTube. And while you're doing that, check out our YouTube channel as well, Capital FM Kenya, and you'll find out what we're talking about behind the scenes. If you've been missing out, but for now we're talking about the royal wedding. And I'm going to say this right here, right now. I felt terrible for the mother though. Sitting there by herself, even I looked at the royal wedding photos, I'm like, yeah, even one cousin. No one one No one went through. I mean, I Megan had said she didn't really want a lot of drama around that, that time. So it's like, okay, you know what? That's fine. But then mm-hmm. again, as a parent, you want to see your daughter um, enjoy her day, have her family around. You yeah. know? And she was just by herself. And Prince Charles is the one who walked her down the yeah. aisle. It's quite, okay. I mean, that's okay. But then if that was me, I would want my dad or someone from my family to walk me down I wouldn't down want her line. dad to walk me down the aisle. So I can see why so she wouldn't f- want her own dad to walk her down the aisle. Okay, he's I, a mess. I get that part. But the <laughs> only people who attended from her family for this wedding was her weed-selling nephew who made us yeah who made a strain called sparkle markle so if you ever in america you get sparkle it's mm. selling out sparkle <laughs> markle that's great for him that's her nephew and her aunt and her mother those were the only family members who attended the wedding that is i feel like that's so lonely but i want to know do you guys care about the royal wedding did you like what she was wearing because we're going to talk about that in just a bit as well as who attended as well do you even care because i mean as one of my friends tweeted these are our colonizers why are we so entertained by this <laughs> but anyway the hashtag is hnh984 let us know what you are thinking 